What is deep water culture hydroponics and how does it differ from Cracky hydroponics? Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com. I'm out here in my greenhouse where I have an aquaponics system that utilizes the fish water running through the growth trays to feed my plants. And the plants in turn pick out the nitrates from the fish water and helps to purify the water for the fish. So that's how my aquaponics system works in my greenhouse and you can check out my video course on how to build a system like this if you're interested. But today we're talking about deep water culture. And deep water culture is a method of hydroponic growing where you have a bucket like this that serves as your nutrient reserve and you put your hydroponic nutrients in it and then you have an aeration grid or an air stone in the bottom providing aeration. And unlike most hydroponic systems that use an air stone, I developed my own aeration grid. And there are some benefits to that I will talk to you about in just a minute. But let's talk about the difference between a deep water culture bucket, like you see here where I'm growing my tomatoes, and a cracky tray system like this. Now in our simple hydroponics course, I show you how to make a cracky tray like this, where you have a net pot, put some rockwell cube in there to seed your plants, and then you have some hydrogen, those are the little round clay balls. And usually I show you how to set the water level to a certain level in here that'll provide a little bit of air for those roots from the distance of the bottom of the net pot to the bottom of the water where the roots hit the water that provides the airspace and that's how cracky hydroponics is set up we learn about that in our simple hydroponics video course but in our advanced hydroponics video course i show you more complicated forms of hydroponics utilizing an air pump like this one right here and why do we use air pumps or air sprayers with submersible pumps, uh, why do we grow with ebb and flow? Because certain plants don't do well in a cracky setup because they don't get enough oxygen, even with a little air gap on their roots. So some plants will do a lot better if you provide aeration. And that's the advantage of deep water culture. In a system like this, you can grow much larger vegetable plants. Like what you see here, these tomatoes do really well in deep water culture and although I start them in a cracky system like this I often move them into the deep water system because it'll provide that extra aeration which not only helps the plant grow better especially with the large plants that have larger root bases but it also provides a way to be able to clone plants and I'll show you how I do that in just a minute but basically deep water culture is a system of growing with hydroponics utilizing an air pump, an air stone or an aeration grid like this. And then, of course, you have your plants with the roots down in the reserve and with some nutrients and some, in my case, I'm using hydrogen around these stalks because I clone these plants. And so that is how it works. Now, let me explain to you why an aeration grid is better than having an air stone. When it comes to hydroponics, no matter how good you are at balancing your nutrients and your pH and everything to get the perfect ideal solution for your plants to uptake nutrients, there's always going to be a certain level of micronutrients of minerals that fall out of suspension in your water and deposit themselves in the bottom of your bucket and in the case of a deep water culture if you're using air stones they'll deposit themselves on the air stones now the problem of having an air stone is if you use those year after year in deep water culture eventually there'll be enough scaling on the bottom of your air stones and in your bucket and covering those air stones to the point where they won't produce enough aeration for your plants and you'll have to replace them but with my aeration grid that I teach you how to build in our advanced hydroponic video course, with this aeration grid, you'll be able to grow year after year after year because I'll show you how to be able to open those pores back up 
and to be able to use it over and over in your deep water culture system. In fact, in my upper shelves, I have a bunch of tomatoes growing that I've been growing in the same aerated reserve with the aeration grid for the past five years. And I've had no problems with them. When they start to clog up, I just have a way of opening those holes and I'm able to reuse them. And so this is a really good way to build a deep water culture hydroponic system. Let me encourage you to check out our advanced hydroponic course, not only to learn how to build an aeration grid like this for deep water culture, but also to learn how to do aeroponics, where we use sprayers to spray plants or some plants that do better with aeroponics. And we also have uh, a video on how to build a Mr. Stacky tray grow tray unit, hydro tower. So check out our advanced video course if you want to learn how to build the more sophisticated hydroponic systems. Now let me give you a closer look at how this deep water culture system is designed. I have an airline coming in and the way I designed it, I designed it with two airlines coming into the aeration grid that we build inside the unit. And so the reason for the two lines is it helps to provide a more balanced aeration throughout the reserve and throughout the, the grid providing that aeration. And so I put a T on the end, which allows me to connect up two lines on the grid to the one line coming off of my air pump. And so now let me go ahead. I, I have one of my plants out so you could take a better look. It gets quite a bit of aeration with this grid that I developed that sits down at the bottom of the reserve and aerates and bubbles all throughout. And these tomato plants do awesome in this setup. And let me tell you something I really like about deep water culture. Not only can you grow just about any plant in here, but you can also clone stems as well. And what is cloning? Well, let me show you. This plant right here was one of my plants that I cloned off my upper shelf hydroponic grow system. Here in the greenhouse, I have aquaponics in the bottom shelf and then in the upper shelf, I have hydroponics with a tomato grow system up above. And here, I just took simply one of these stems, as you can see this one right here, this would be a good one to clone. I just took one of those stems that kind of come up off the base of the plant and I cut it off and just stuck it in a net pot. Like you see here, this is just a three inch net pot. I put a hole in the bottom as you can see there you can see the stem coming through the snap pot and I just cut a small little oh half inch hole or so in the center of that net pot through the stem just stuck it down through as you can see here and then I put some hydrogen all around the stem to stabilize it and then I stuck it inside one of these deep water culture units just with some aeration and this is only about a month a month worth of growth look at how large those roots have become and that's the neat thing about deep water culture is it's with the added aeration it really helps to build root systems quickly for the plants and of course increase the growth you can see here this plant which I just pulled off a stem off of my hydroponic units. I just pulled this off about a month ago and it already has a number of flowers on it. And the reason why is clone stems already have all the hormones, mechanisms, whatever internally in them from the mother stock plant. And so the mother plant was ready to flower. So this stock, it doesn't know that it's only been in here developing roots for a month. It just, you know, it thinks it's been growing for two, three months because it's been in my upper shoving unit and came off one of those plants. So the advantage of cloning over starting with seeds is that you can get your plants ready to, to flower and produce quicker. 
pulling it off of a more mature plant, pulling a stem off. So, so this is uh, how I clone my plants. I don't have to put any cloning gel in. I don't have to put anything special in the nutrient reserve. I just stick some basic, you know, I even did maxi grow with these guys. Or sometimes I'll just do with the, the tomato hydroponic nutrients. And technically, even for the first two weeks, you don't necessarily even have to add nutrients because it's developing the roots and it doesn't always, you know, it doesn't have the ability to take up nutrients until those roots are developed. So even for two weeks, you could just clone them in straight water. And then, uh, of course, add nutrients. I wouldn't go longer than two weeks. In fact, they start to yellow a little bit if you don't add nutrients by then. So, you know, or you could just start the stems in a deep water culture system like this. Just go ahead and put some light nutrients. You don't want to go heavy. These are going to be considered baby plants. You don't want to burn them. So go with like one teaspoon per gallon of water in your reserve. And then um, just stick that stem in there. And in about a month, you'll have a plant that hopefully is flowering if you pull it off of a, a large bush like I have up, up above in my hydroponic system up above. So this is what I like about deep water culture. There's so much you can do with it, with these uh, these plants. You can grow just about anything in an aerated reserve like this. And of course, cloning is such a neat way to expand your garden in hydroponics quickly. And if you haven't yet downloaded our Quick Start Hydroponics Guide on our website at greenlivingoffgrid.com, let me encourage you to do so. Just go to greenlivingoffgrid.com Click on the free PDF, Quick Start Hydroponics, and we'll send that to you when you enter your email address. We'll send that to you on your email. Thanks again for watching. Happy growing, everyone, and I'll see you next time.